Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It is good to see you all this morning. It is good to worship with you this morning. There are uh, a couple of things that I need to uh, make you aware of this morning. Uh, first of all, uh, for those of you who are here and who have children in the age range of grade 6 to grade 12, catechism will, Lord willing, be starting next week. So, uh, please, it is important, come to catechism. Yes, looking at you. It should be excellent. We're looking forward to it very much. Uh, we will be obeying all of our uh, physical distancing rules and uh, we'll provide a safe, uh, a safe environment for people. We are also still looking for a GEMS counselor, so if you, or two, a GEMS counselor or two, so if you can talk to Cole about that, he can direct you to the proper uh, people to talk with. So if you are feeling a tug on your heart to be a GEMS counselor, uh, it's, uh, or if you don't even know what a GEMS counselor is, you can talk to Cole and he can fill you in on that. Also, wanted to make sure that you were aware that um, Pete Harmsma, who passed away this past week, um, the uh, visitation for uh, Pete will be uh, from 2 to 4 and 7 to 9 tomorrow at Judson's here in town. And also the funeral itself will be at 11 o'clock on Tuesday here at the church. Um, there should be, uh, I believe, enough room for uh, people who are not just family to come as well. So uh, don't feel that you have to stay away simply because you want to provide room for others. Also, uh, wanted to remind you that today we are having a special offering for Haiti and for uh, World Renew for all of those who are struggling with the, uh, the devastation and effects uh, of weather and all that uh, there. And so please uh, prayerfully consider your giving for that. And this morning after the service, please do not leave right away. We will be having our affirmation vote for those whose names have been uh, proposed for office bearer uh, this year. So we will, uh, we will do that after our closing song. So uh, don't forget about that as well. We'll talk about a couple more things when we get to pastoral care and the congregational prayer. But in the meantime, would you please rise and receive God's greeting? Welcome, brothers and sisters, into this place where the Lord our God wipes away all our fears. Welcome in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us begin our worship together with a call 